Record on the back. Sound check. Sound check. Sound check. Hey, 
You can hear me. Yeah. 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 Okay. Um. Um. We are about ten here right now. Um. We're expecting about forty people. I don't know if we should wait for. Oh, we're expecting about forty people. So I don't know if we should wait for all of them before we can start, so that we can all get uh, at least the understanding of what we are going to do. I I want all of us to unmute our our sound so that we can think of teaching right here. So um, either we will move on or we wait for. And right now we are prepared. Um, can we know the name of the host? Yeah, I want I want all of us to. Come on, that because it's part of the agenda that we are supposed to introduce ourselves and move on. But once 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 I start, we may have to all of mute our sound so that we can move on. That then after I finish talking, we can shoot and ask or continue to the meeting. I don't know if we start right now. Yeah. <laughs> 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 
Oh, we can't start. Okay, somebody is asking where all those noise are coming from. So I don't know if it is not from my past, though. So, um, yeah. Okay, um, once we, we get started, all of us may have to mute our sound so that we will start the meeting. Then later on, we can contribute because we can hear some sounds from other places. I don't know where it's coming from. We have 13 people right now, so I'm asking if we should uh, wait for all of them or we should proceed. Can we proceed with the meeting yeah. or we should wait for the rest? Um, I don't know, but if we say we are waiting for the rest, uh, how should I read that they are going to join? No, that's a problem. Let me let me check up on, on, on the WhatsApp platform, then we see what we can do. Let me see. You are 12. We are not even up to half of it. We are expecting about 40 people. They are, they are asking if the meeting is ongoing, so I'm replying them that it has started so they can come and join. We were supposed to start at 3 p.m. Oh, I've been waiting for it. Uh, so they are asking. They are asking if we have started. So I'm just trying to that they can. Is the meeting going to come on? We have started already. Yeah. So I I can see that some are joining. So we are now 14. Let's wait for one person then. Hello. Yes, sir. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Oh, uh, 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 all right, I can see they are now joining. So, um, okay, it's the time is 3.13. Let's wait for at least two minutes and then we can just get started, okay? I hope we are all clear with this. So, in the, next, you. in the next two minutes, I want all of us to mute our sounds so that we can move on. Listen, man, you're the boss, okay?
I can see some people joining in. So uh, in a matter of minutes, we are going to go straight up to the meeting, then we'll start discussing um, the agenda for today. <clears throat> All right, good afternoon to all, all of us. Um, my name is Godfred. Uh, Abigail, you can't hear. Ooh, okay, let me hear you. Abigail. Hello, can you all hear me? If you can hear me, just write it here. Okay, um, I've, I've muted all your sounds, so I want all of you, to, maybe if, if there's something that you want to tell me, you just write it here then. All right, all right. Okay, good afternoon to us all. My name is Godfred, full name Godfred Isibu Franklin, and I'm a co-founder of Aspire Communications Group and then Course Guide. I'm also a graphic designer, a web developer, and digital marketer. All right, I hope we all know the reason why we've met this afternoon. It's about a project that we've talked about over the week. You've subscribed to it. We, we run you through um, a short, uh, interview on your CVs and your interest and everything. Now it's time for me to also tell you what uh, the project is all about. And this is it. But before then, you need to know about um, the platform or the company in which you are you are going to work with. Okay. So I'll start by. Um, talking a little bit about Aspire Communications Group. Uh, so basically Aspire Communications Group is one big startup company, or let's say one startup with different modules of operations. All right, so please. So, what Aspire is about is that we have different elements or different modules of uh, um, ideas and startup in Aspire. As, uh, uh, please, please, we have to mute our sound. So first of all, Aspire has four different models or modules. The first of it is Aspire um, Technologies. And as part technologies is basically um, the entity that works with technology. Okay, anything about technology, we appreciate technology, we we work with technology, and that's why it's Aspire Technologies. So these are the things that we do at Aspire Technologies. We do web development, 
mobile app development, software engineering, game development, anything about technology, programming, and a whole lot of things. All right. We also have Aspire Media that works with media arts and other things like graphic designing and anything about um, um, media art. And one of the most important thing and the reasons why you are all here is Aspire Education. All right. And Aspire Education has brought a platform for all of us and an online platform for all of us, which is called the Course Guide Education System or Course Guide Online Education. And that is the reason why we have all met here. Basically, we have come through a um, series of, or let me say, serious disaster over, over the year. Uh, and we all are aware of um, coronavirus bringing us out of schools and other things. And even yesterday, I understand they imposed a new um, restrictions on movement and other things. So it's, it's important that as well waste um, citizens of the country, we created a, 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 a platform that would not curtail our education. Okay, that would not curtail our education. That is problem solving. So we sat down to think that we cannot always allow ourselves to be, to be brought down by certain things which we could have used uh, uh, um, our ideas to, to prevent. And that's why we brought about course guide. And we are all aware that this is not the first time uh, um, somebody is trying to bring an online education. We have it in other uh, places like America and other things. It's, it's just normal for them. But what about Ghana? We find it difficult to acquire knowledge online. It's, it's very difficult for us to accept online education, but this is different, okay? This is different. We are working uh, towards uh, a, um, a platform where everyone is inclusive, from kindergarten to the tertiary, to those who want to learn other things and everything. That is what Course Guide is about. And our focus is more on the practical aspects other than a theory, because for theory, we all have our notes. We can go on Google, download PDF about courses and other things. But what about the particles? You need somebody to hold your hands through it, all right? And that is why Course Guide is about. So basically, Course Guide is an online education platform. And the platform is a website and an app where, uh, in which we are seriously developing. It's almost done. The only thing left right now is people to teach on the platform or to sell their courses on the platform. And that is why we have met. When we're doing the, the interviews, somewhere ask, I, I asked people, how much will you take? And I think everyone, everyone, how much will you take for your service? And people were quoting and other things. Now, the fact is the amount you quoted may be smaller for the course you are coming to do. Because when you take Udemy, for instance, Udemy, and I don't know if all of us know about Udemy, maybe you can Google it and see how they also work. Udemy also do online education. People record their lessons and then sell them online. And so it's a continuous process, all right? So what we are going to do at Course Guide is that we are going to provide you with the technology, with the with the um, space, with the platform, and with the publicity. And what you are also going to provide us is your knowledge. And you're going to provide your knowledge through our platform to the user. All right. So if you, you want to teach uh, mathematics, the things you're going to do is that you're going to sign up onto the platform and then you let us know what your your course or your 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 lessons can cost the people who are outside and we are only providing you with a platform we are giving you the publicity because we are going to publish uh, um, put ourselves out there advertise ourselves that this 
a platform for everyone to learn. So we are already giving you the, the publicity and you are only going to provide your knowledge or you are going to provide the knowledge for us and um, through us to our users. Now, let me go through um, some something. Let, let me just tell you something. The course guide is going to run three different sets of uh, uh, um, education models. All right, three different sets of education models. The first one is fully online education. Okay, fully online education. So there will be um, a moment where a student would like to learn from the tutor directly, like what you are having now, right? There will be a moment that a tutor would like to learn directly, like live class. And that is what we call the online class, fully online class, all right? Another thing is pre-recorded class, pre-recorded class. That is, we give you the technology to work with yourself, like record your lessons, like you are teaching anybody. Maybe with your, your, your computer, with a webcam on it, maybe if you have a laptop with a webcam on it, you just sit down and we train you how you are going to work with it and then you put your you put your 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 courses in recordings and then zip them and then you put them on the course guide platform for sale and that is um the pre-recorded class we are talking about That's the pre-recorded. And another thing is, um, another one is uh, the direct class, which sometimes uh, it is very minimal, okay? And we, we, we framed it into um, home tuition. We framed it into home tuition. Oh, okay, okay. We reframed it into home tuition. So once you are signed up to this uh, this platform, you are sure of maybe there may be an instance where you'll be booked for an for a home tuition, right? Maybe you booked from a home tuition, and that is why we we put all of them together because we are running education from even for the kindergarten students or the kindergarten people. So there may be a need for home tuition and of which all of us uh, should be aware, okay? Now, we ask of the, the type of courses or the type of lessons that we, 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 we would treat on the platform. It is all at your um, expense, like at your knowledge, how you want to Treat, um, teach okay so we, we should have course for everyone for the kindergarten people so if you you think that yours is to deal with technology uh, um, related courses like graphic design and web development and everything on the day of signing up because we are going to allow you to sign up onto the platform by yourself by yourself so you are going to choose the course that you are going to bring on board whether two three fifty any kind of things that any course you want to um you want to treat on the platform i hope i make myself very clear so the the essence of this is to have courses for everyone at, from the kindergarten and i was happy to see some of you with masters in economics masters in mathematics and that means that we have the the, the men who are going to train these people for us Surely this is a bigger platform for all of us to take very seriously. And but because it's a beginning session, we 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 seek um, um, a very huge knowledge from other people, and that's why you are here. I don't have any idea of university uh, curriculum or anything, but we have them in books, and we are not going to tell you what you should teach. 
we are going to go according to the GES labels that tells us that we should go up, go this way or that way because we are going to provide a comprehensive course on the the curricula we use in in Ghana. So very soon, it will be approved. The platform will be approved by the GES and the Ministry of Education for all of us, so that we will, we will be fully recognized that if I want to come and learn on course guide, I'm not only learning from some, some, somebody or somewhere, but I'm learning from a recognized institution with a certificate, and then I, I will be recognized some other places. Now, one thing we should also bear in mind that is this, we are not coming to train people just like that. We are coming to train people to be creators of themselves and not seekers of other things. One thing we believe in as far is that we don't give you theories that you just come and learn, you read books, PDFs and everything, then you take your certificates, you go and then you'll be looking for a job, they give you interview uh, questions, you answer them, you come and then you go on board, you sign up to them and you're not able to produce results. No. So some of, some of us, we don't even give certificates. We just give you your, 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 your skills and we test you. And by the time you leave us, we will know that you are ready for, for everything. You're going to create your own jobs and then do other things with it. So if it's math, math is that you are going to treat, we don't expect you that after teaching the math, you will come and then, then somebody will come and say, me Christian, they were course guide cram one meal. Christian, they were course guide. Christian, my or course guide cram one meal. That is not what we are expecting. At least we should have an effect on the on the on the person who is coming to learn. Okay, so that is exactly what we are about. Now, when you are on course guide as a tutor, you enjoy basically everything. I don't know if things will change later on, but currently, please, we are supposed to mute our microphones. But currently, if you're on course guide, if you sign up to course guide, this is the benefits you're going to get. You get free access to, um, free access to workshops because we are going to use a platform or we are going to use technology, a software to broadcast our lessons. And we may not, all of us have an idea about the software. So you are going to be um, put into a workshop on, on this and this is going to be for free because we want our platform to get the best results. So our tutors need to have uh, knowledge about everything or then the software they are supposed to use. So there will be free workshop for all of us. And you enjoy 50% of the course that you have created. And that 50% comes directly into your pocket whilst we work with the 50% through publicity, update your workshops, your souvenirs, and things that you are going to need for yourself. So you are not going to buy data to broadcast your lessons. Course Guide is going to provide. So we know the number of hours you are going to teach and the number of uh, um, data you're going to use and we will provide it for you. And if it's a platform, um, it's a recorded, pre-recorded lessons, we give you the training on how you are going to record your class, tr train you on how you are going to zip and then upload them onto the platform. Okay. So basically sales of courses or pre-recorded courses, you will enjoy 50% um, 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 on the fees. Like when you sell out your course, you get 50% of it. Whilst Aspire or Course Guide work with the 50% through your publications, um, through maintenance, through um, data bundles for you and everything. So that is the benefit you get. So imagine you have about 10 people learning web development, 10 people learning web development, and you are teaching them. And by the way, no tutor is going to teach with a live class, no tutor is going to teach um, 10 to, uh, more than 10 students the minimum or the maximum should be 10. So the maximum of students you're going to get to teach on a live class is going to be 10. And imagine you have 10 people studying web development and you are teaching them for at least three months. And if all of them 
are paying up for uh, they are paying the cost thousand cities to learn uh, 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 um, web development and you are getting 500 cities of every student so that means that within the three months you are going to get about 5,000 cities from the, the tuition you you you, um, you gave out and it's not going to be like after three months then you come and it is a continuous course so maybe today you need to teach class a web development and you go and teach class a web development maybe today is monday you teach class a web development the next wednesday you have a class with class b web development and these uh, platforms all have 10 10 10 students on them so that means that enjoying 50 percent of each of their uh, um, their fees means that you are enjoying 500 cities times 20 people in 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 three months all right so that is how it is and we are going to use the remaining uh, 500 per student to fuel your 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 data to fuel your publicity and for everything that you're going to do. So basically you don't need anything. You don't need to spend anything whilst you are teaching. You only come and enjoy. Now we may ask why this? Now there is one thing that we need to know here that there are platforms all over the world who, who, who don't have uh, the men or the tools to work with, but they have, they have only managed to provide a platform and it's they are doing very well and one of them is uber and i know some of us know that uber don't don't own their cars they only own the platform all right they only own their platform so you come and sign up to it and then you enjoy the benefit and that is what course guide is going to be that's what course guide is all about we are providing with a platform the publicity and then the fuel to give you the energy to work with yourself. There are more to this that we may discuss later, but this this actually means uh, this is the basics of the course um, course guide platform that we are we are going to use or we have enrolled. So, right now, if you want to ask me any question, I don't know what you want to ask me, but I've given you the basics. So, if you want to ask anything, you just use the raise your hands uh, emoji and then i'll unmute you then you you can ask me any question you want All right, um, Mr. Gideon, and your name, you are on. You can ask your question. Uh, All right, Mr. Gideon, you can ask your question. I can't hear you clearly. Thank you very much. Yes, sir. Uh, can you hear me now, sir? Yeah, I can hear you. Good. Okay, mine is not a question per se. You know, I am sorry, I came a bit late, but so I just want to find out if you'll be providing a recorded version of this session and also maybe a word and maybe a step by step. All right, um, I, I hear you correctly. Um, yeah, the class is being recorded. This meeting is being recorded. So later on, if you want it, you can ask me on, on WhatsApp and then I'll send it to you. Mr. Nathaniel. All right, Mr. Michael Asante. Oh, yeah, Michael Asante, you're on. You, you, you can unmute now. All right, I'm listening, Mr. Michael. Okay, thank you for the opportunity. Can right. you hear me, though? Yeah, I can hear you. Okay, so the question I would like to ask has to do with, first of all, when you are projecting that your projects can start, when do you think uh, your your app will be approved so that 
we can sign up online. That is the first question. Secondly, if we sign up online, we start producing content for your app as teachers or so be it. Um, how is the pay system, the, the remuneration system going to be like? Is it going to be monthly? Or it depends on you teaching for a certain period. Let's say you teach after three months and after three months you are, you are, you are paid based on the number of students you taught. Is that how it's going to be like or how is it? So these are my two questions. When you are expecting that your project to be launched and two, how is the pay system going to be like? All right, thank you. I hope we all heard it. And, and this question, okay, let me just uh, um, answer. Right now, the website is 95% um, completed. The reason I'm saying 95% completed is that we don't have tutors as of now. So that means that the platform is re already ready. But for, for, for tutors to be signed on, that is what we are waiting, we are waiting for. And you asked about um, the, the payment system. Actually, you get your pay from the payment from the fees, okay, from the fees. So once the, 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 the student pays, all right, once the student pays, any amount that the student pays, you get your 50% out of it. So if the course is sold for 1,000 Ghana cities and the student is able to make up for the, the beginning, and I, I know that where we are, even in our big institutions, we, we, we are allowed to pay fees in installments. So if the student is able, and basically we allow for 50% installation uh, um, payment. So you pay for 50%, then you can be enrolled on. So once the student is able to pay 50%, like maybe 500 CDs, you as a tutor get automatically your 50% from the 500 CDs. All right. So as and when the student pays, until the, the month, um, the course ends at the end of the three months, you get your full payment. All right. So as the student is paying, you are also receiving. And the, all, all those things are in the platform that when you are signing up to it, when you are signing up to it, you indicate how you want to be paid. For instance, if you want if you want uh, to be paid at the end of the course, or if you want to be paid, no, we cannot pay you at the beginning of the course, though. We cannot pay at the beginning of the course. But once you get students to teach, once you, you know that, okay, I have 10 students, we are going to teach, we are going to start in March. So, this your pay. There is a fifty percent of your pay. So you just go and then hold your class for them. And with every lesson that you hold, a member or a team from Aspa will be on to monitor. So you will be on to monitor the lessons that you are having. So basically, you're part of the lessons every day. So you get your pay as and when the student pays. I hope I, I hope I, I, I've answered your question, Michael. Uh, yes, please. I, I forgot one more thing, though. All right. Uh, you mentioned that you have categories in the courses. You are going to have pre-recorded courses, live sessions, and yeah. one other one. So, yeah. uh, with regard to the the pre-recorded one, or not, not, not even that yet. Uh, how do you? How does a teacher decide? Is the teacher the one going to decide whether he or she is going to teach a pre-recorded class or a live session? Is it going to be from the teacher, or is it going to be from the organization and two um okay you answer this one first then <laughs> all right um you can provide us with all the content you want the live or the pre-recorded so imagine we have someone ready to have a live class all right we cannot say that because there may be a live class in web development we cannot say that no we don't provide live class in web development we cannot say that so and somebody wants to learn a pre-recorded class we cannot say that no we only provide live class so as a web developer tutor, you are going to provide us with live sessions, recorded sessions, and then other materials that will be downloadable. Okay. So you provide us all the three. If you cannot provide us with all, all of them, maybe you have two um, tutors doing mathematics. So we can say, oh, can you provide us with pre recorded class this weekend or for this student? Okay, you said, okay, yes. Then you do it and you record them and you sign up, you upload them onto the platform. So that, and the, the pre-recorded class becomes more uh, 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 like your YouTube channel. As I went to my buying, you are gaining. So it will be there forever until you want to up update the lesson. Because we need to update them as and when things change. You want, you want to update the lesson, you, you pull down the old one, you update them, then you update them once again. 
I hope I make myself very clear. Yeah, I think I think it's okay now. All right. Um, I don't know who is using Technos at five, but if you know you are using Technos at five, you can ask your question. You are on now. Oh, you are not ready to ask a question. Okay, someone is asking if I can. Yes. I said the, the 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 meeting is being recorded, so you get you get uh, the pre-recorded one. Okay, after we've done with the lesson, you you contact me on WhatsApp, and then I'll send the meeting to you, Mr. Gideon. Okay, we are recording. Um, Madam Abigail, are you asking a question, Madam Abigail? Yeah, I can hear you. If you're asking a question, I can hear you. All right. My question is, so we don't decide either we want to do the pre-recorded, the home tuition, or the online, right? Yes. So once we are signed on it, you, you will give us the contract on what we are supposed to do. No, you when you are signing up, you 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 take the one you can give yes. so that we know that okay. Madam Abigail only provides online lessons, all right? Okay. Yes. Okay. I hope I hope that's that's clear with you. That's clear. That's clear. All right. Um Mr. Lucas, you are okay, you can unmute now. You are and on. Teach also that to indicate, right? Please can you start your question over? Hello. Madam Abigail, please, can you ask your question again? I couldn't hear you. All right, Mr. Lucas, you can go on. All right, thank you um, for this opportunity. Um, I have with me here three questions. The first one being, um, if a student wants to sign up, how is the payment plan like? Is it that he he or she is supposed to make full payment or part payment or as as times goes on make some payments and get into the middle of the course there is a deadline for for the student to be able to complete the payment before he or she can continue with the course that's the very first question now the second one or you, you want to answer it one after the other uh, okay let me just say um we know the situation in this country, so we allow for students to make at least 50 payments before the start of the of their course. Okay, so the students make 50% yes. payments before the start of the course. Yes, so it's, right. our, it's, our, it's our responsibility to make sure the students pay because we are hiring you to teach, right? So it is our yeah. responsibility to make the students pay so that we will be able to pay you. If not, we should cancel or we should call it um, call out. Uh, call off their course so that we don't incur losses on our side because at the end of the day after your three months you have thought you're expecting your your full payment right and we don't want yeah. to, we don't want to owe you so we should be responsible in uh, collecting our fees so that we can pay you all right thank you now the second question does the teacher have a say in the pricing of the course if it's it's an online course <laughs> that that is that is a very good question. That is why we are all met because we need to know that at least um, mathematics or economics should cost like this. All right, and we also uh, um, we we as a platform are not ready to accept um, um, courses that will be outrageous because we are having it online. We should make it if we are going to learn from maybe. Uh, your direct class, you're going to pay 400, but because you are doing online, you should make it 3,000. And that is why most um, online classes are, are, are not more, more effective in Ghana. But we are not also going to price it in a way that it will affect the teacher. Okay. Yeah. So, so, so still, I'm not getting the answer. 
is it that we are here to discuss as to the teacher having a say in the pricing or not? Yes, you have a say in the pricing because, for instance, I don't teach economics, so I cannot say that economics is very hard, so I'm, I'm taking like this. So you have a say in it, and then we have a conclusion that my course should be sold at this uh, amount. Okay. Okay. But Thank you. You know, that, you know that it's going to be competitive because imagine you are not the only one teaching economics. We have about three people teaching economics, and you raise a point like, um, I'm going to teach economics for 1,000 cities. And one will say, okay, I mean, it's for the goodness of everything. Let me teach it for 500 cities. You know that it's going to be competitive, right? So yeah. you all sit down and set a competitive price and that will affect all of us positively. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So if I'm to understand you well, if let's say we have um, about three teachers teaching economics, these three teachers will come together with the platform owners Exactly. And decide on all exactly. right, all right, exactly. All right, get it. I get yeah. it. Thank you. All and right. um, the last question I have here before okay. um, give the platform as in handover. Um, can a teacher teach more than two subjects or courses? Yes, when you are signing up, if there are courses that you want to sign up, uh, um, options that you want to teach. So you take as many as you want and as many as you can teach. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, I get it. All thank right. you very much. All right. Thank you. So, um, I don't know. I, I don't know if I can mention the name, but the name is I can see. Okay, you are here. All right, you can ask your question. Yeah. Yeah. So I wanted to ask. Um, my question is about the data reimbursement. All right. Yeah. So how how is it going to be like? All right. You're going to provide that once the course start uh, starts. Okay. And every lesson, you'll be given a data to take it down. So we know maybe classes are for two hours. So we, we provide you enough data that can take you through the, 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 the two hours lesson. OK, so what about if, let's say, where you are at the moment, do you have like your own source of internet or you have like Wi-Fi or something? How is that going to work then? And that is that means that we are going to fuel it up for you. If you want. You have your own internet. We are going to buy the data for it, or you have already purchased the data. Yeah, let's say you've already purchased the data. Okay, then <laughs> I think we are going to give you your money. But in in that actual sense, we don't actually give out money. Like, uh, I don't think we are going. Maybe we may discuss it later. But the fact is, we provide you the data. We send it to you on your phone on your internet. All right. So sometimes we decide, okay. okay, that your lessons are for three months, so we are going to provide you data that can take you through three months. Yeah, I understand. But then the, because, you know, it's, um, there's some um, telecommunications whereby you have to pay for like six months to a year. So yeah. let's say you've already paid for that and you're usually, so let me see, you've already catered for it. So how then are, going to, are you going to be reimbursed? Um, then it should be an arrangement between you and the platform so that we know how to sort it out. All right, thank you. All right. Um, what someone is asking, how do we know the cost per each subject? Uh, I don't know, the cost per each subject. That is that is why I said we are going to discuss. So you 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 decide, okay, my cost is um, cost thousand cities. So you know that since you have said your course cost thousand cities, you know that every student you are going to teach is paying thousand cities. I hope I I, I I've given you the, the, the answer. So it's not that we are going to say um, your courses, you are going to tell us your course is thousand cities and we are going to tell the student that your course is thousand five. No. It's not, it's not, it doesn't work like and you are going to teach the student. So you have every right to interact with them. And they are going to be platforms that you and your student are going to discuss other things. Maybe you cannot have class, you need to send them the PDF to read, or you need to send them the notes to read. So you can just ask them, oh, how much do you pay for it? It is a fair I uh, it's a fair deal. All right. So, if uh, Ms. Madam Abigail, you asked the question. So, if you 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 are sat satisfied with it, you just give me a thumbs up. Madam Abigail, you can give me a thumbs up if I've answered your question. Um, Mr. Gideon, are you on again? Okay. All right. Thank you. Yes, sir. Okay. Thank you, sir. All right. Please. 
is there something I want to get clear? All right. Uh, you see, you answered when you're answering, uh, is it Lucas or Michael? Uh, for a course, let's first, we have a management course. Not only one tutor will be taking that course. Yeah. And so, uh, let's talk about, let's talk about um, pre-record. For that, uh, is it that you are going to manage the testing one on that will be displayed online, or you all have a call displayed online? Then students come and uh, say one that they prefer. Is that how it's going to work? I, I don't know how that aspect is going to work. Okay, I yeah. want to get more understanding. All right, so if you, 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 you do pre recorded class, your name will be put there, maybe pre recorded class with. Um, um, tutor um, Gideon, okay. So the person knowing your profile, your profiles will be there. So if the student will go through your profiles, uh, Mr. Gideon, and your name is a tutor by this with this certificate and other things. And you know, people look at certificates, okay, this tutor who is going to teach me, does he even have a certificate? And what certificate does he have? So you're going to, okay, okay, he has masters. Okay, he has master, he has this. If I look at him, you'll be you'll be that, you'll be that. And the um part and I, I talked about publicity. So we are going to give you a fair I a fair share of publicity that okay, me, I want um tutor, my um Gideon to teach me. I want Madame Abigail to teach me. Because if you, even if you go through um schools, there are there is no only one tutor who teaches uh, one subject. There are a lot of them. So you see that oh I'm in tutor and 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 teacher address class, I'm this one's class, I'm this one's class. So as and when they download or they buy your course, you get your 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 monies from there. I hope I answered your question. Yeah, yeah okay, I think it's clear. It means uh, as fire or course guide is not going to allocate data to students, but students are at liberty to choose their ones, pay their own preferences. That will take them through. Is that what you are saying, please? That is with the, the pre-recorded class. That is the with, okay. with the pre-recorded class. You are going to record them and then upload them. So we don't know who is coming to buy. All right. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Means the live session. Also tell us how the live session will be, please. Yeah, the live session will be like this one. Like your students will be there and you'll be teaching them like Zoom and everything. But we have a specific web, um, platform that we are going to use, and then you get trained on, on, on that software. Okay, so, 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 how, how, so is Aspire going to give you, yeah, is Aspire going to give you a number of students to, to deal with? Yes. Or it's also based um, on the maximum, okay. the maximum number of students a, a, a tutor can teach is 10. They're not going to have more than 10. Um, student on one class okay so if we have about 30 people learning your course we are going to group them into three so you have um maybe monday you are going to teach class a wednesday you're going to teach class b and then friday you're going to teach class c it depends on you if if you can work all the three classes in one day too it depends on you i hope i answered all right that's fine that's fine. That's fine. We pray this in material life. It's going to be very interesting. Thanks. Uh, all right. Thank you, too. Uh, anyone? Madam Abigail, you want to ask a question again? Hello. Yeah. Hello. Yeah. Please, can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you now. All right. I want to know if it, you see the DES curriculum, you have to go to school on um, first semester, second semester, third semester. But this is going to be like this, or you have to schedule your own month or your own day. So you have to, is it going to be a full time something or? Yeah, I want to get that. All right. Uh, you teach as and when students come. So it's not going to be, and we run our courses okay. continuously. So depending on, um, depending on the, the, the number of students you have as at the time of enrollment, then you, you will schedule when you, you start your class, okay? 
you will schedule when you ask your class. Uh, Daniel, I'll, I'll answer your question very soon. You will schedule when you you um, start your class. And every class, okay. some class maybe three months, maybe six months, maybe one year, and, and other things. Okay. Oh, okay. Yeah. Um, please, okay. how will we know for the pre recorded class that this number of people have registered for our courses and how much we are expected to be paid? So we couldn't feel cheated on it. Yes, that, that is good. Um, you get, you see that when, when, Someone wants to buy your course. He does not buy the course directly from the website. He he um, click on the course that the course are going to. And and the questions you are asking will also help us improve on the website if what I'm saying is not on it. But I agree that it's on it. So the person will click on on. You see that when you want to buy an item from anywhere, you click on the item and it goes to add to cart. You go to cart and then fill out the form like this. Um, this this is the amount that you, you are paying for and then you'll be paid with the money and then you get your item now once the person go through this this session or this process he will be he, the student or the user will be mailed with a link to download the course and the download and um, the link to download will be with you the tutor okay so the number of people who download the course you get you get them there is a database for people who um, who download the course so you see that okay and on the course you know that okay um web development class we have 200 downloads for uh, since uploaded 300 downloads since uploaded and i will refer you to um, a website like uh, Udemy, you go to udemy.com and know how their platform works. You see that for every course, they, they have the number of people who have downloaded. And it's not us, a uh, human being, who are going to put the number there. It, the JavaScript is going to run it as and when people click on, uh, people download it. So once you download it, JavaScript engine will uh, um, automatically update that, okay, one person has downloaded it, two people have downloaded it. And I know those of you who have knowledge in IT and web development, you know about JavaScript and how it works. So it, the number of people who download the course will be attached to the, uh, the, the course. I hope I make myself very clear. Mr. Daniel, do I answer your question? Give me a thumbs up if you, because someone is coming on. Techno Spark 5 Pro, your hands is up and your, your mic is unmuted, so you can ask your question. Yeah, thank you very much. I want to find out what is going to be our target market. Is it going to be our tertiary students or those in the secondary psych institution? Or we are going to plan them? If if you can provide content for kindergarten, you provide. If you provide you can if you can provide content for secondary, you can also do that. And I know that all of us have uh, um, yeah, strength, our strength and weaknesses. But if you are providing for kindergarten, make sure that it is on the kindergarten curriculum. Not that you hear that, okay, I can do it. So, okay, I can do it. So let me try and provide something for kindergarten as well, for the love of maybe, you see. Okay. All right. So if you can provide Thank for you. university, you do it according to the curriculum. Okay. And I hope Aspire is going to provide such curriculum or we are. Yeah, we are going to give you the curriculum. Yeah. Okay. Okay. All right. Thank you. All right. Is that Technos Pack Five Pro? Yes, exactly. Okay, your hand was still up. So, um, who else is asking a question? You have about. Uh, you have about twenty something minutes to end this meeting. So I, will I will urge all of you to, uh, um, ask anything that comes into your mind. You can ask. And probably we we'll have we we'll have one um, session. Maybe maybe we we'll all meet during the the launch of the platform. So we'll be interacting as and when um, we need to. Um, who else is asking a question? Mm -hmm. Is anyone asking a, a question again?
Okay, though it's like with about 25 minutes, if the no new thing that you want us to know, you can just, okay, iPhone. iPhone, you can unmute now. Okay, um, I just wanted to ask um, if you guys have a WhatsApp group for all of us, because I'm not in any group. You kept on mentioning platform, platform. We are going to discuss something on the platform. So I wanted to know if you guys were having a, um, a WhatsApp group or something, because I'm and, not on it. All right. Currently, we don't have a WhatsApp platform. I I chat okay. with you directly. So after here, we 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 all be moved to the platform um, WhatsApp, WhatsApp platform so that you any information that comes, it just be a one click and then to all of you. I hope oh, I answered okay. question. Okay. Yeah. Sure. All right. Techno Spark 5, do you want to ask a question again? Because your hand is still up. Uh, to Daniel. Okay, which platform exactly we will be using? Um, okay, we we have a website, which I, I said is 95% complete. So that is what we are going to uh, use. And with a live class, we are going to use other software plus Zoom and maybe um, Google Classroom or Meet for the live class. So with the platform or the web software that will link us to these platforms, that is what we are going to train you on. It's a broadcast um, um, software. So we are going to train you on how you can use it and then give you the, the software Then you can install so you can use it when the time comes for you to have the live class. And you'll be also be updated on how you, you can zip and then up upload your your, your, your lessons on the website. For your pre-recorded class, they will be on the website and your profiles too will be on the website. So if I want to come and learn on course guide, all right, if I want to come and learn on course guide, let me look at, oh, who are the tutors there? Let me see. Okay, you have Mr. Gideon, Mr. Dam, Mr. What, Mr. Dad. Okay, that is good. Let me, let me, let me enroll with them. And then the person enrolls and then you know that um, I'm, 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 I'm learning from renowned people. Um, and I know that when you order Uber, you, 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 now you see the, the driver who is coming to pick you, right? So that's how it's going to be like, if you apply for, for a course, you see the tutor who is going to um, um, teach you. Any other question? But I'll be going to ask a question. But I'll be go. Hello. But I'll be going to ask a question. Okay, um, Mr. Daniel, you said last question. Oh, you are muted. Let me see. Mr. Daniel, you can unmute now. All right, your, your question is, Your question, Mr. Daniel, your question is, after this meeting, what should we expect from? Yes, you will be updated as and when uh, information come, because the next step actually is, is, is to sign in on or sign up on the website. And that is what we are going to go right now um, after this meeting. So we will, okay, we, will, we will put you all in one WhatsApp group and then we'll be discussing any information that comes until you, we sign you on or you sign up onto the, onto the website. 
yourself. So on the website, when you are signing on to it, you give out your 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 information and everything that you think it should it should be there, so that people can know that okay, I'm I'm a signing on to a, a, a good institution that can help me learn the course that I want to learn. All right. Madam Abigail, you can you can ask a question. You are you are unmuted. Okay. Is anyone asking a question? We have barely 19 minutes. So if if no one is asking a question, then we may end the okay. We may end the meeting so that we can save our data or okay, you cannot unmute your 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 your, your microphone. Two more, sir. Yeah, I think I second the idea. So um <laughs> We end the meeting in the name of God, the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. So we meet on WhatsApp. Amen. All right. Amen.